All right, this is using the big seven strategy for solving division, and it's called the big seven because it looks like a big seven, and it's a lot like it looks a lot like the the uh, U.S. standard algorithm for division, but it's not. So, um, what we do is we'll say, okay, 472 is the total of whatever I have. I'm dividing by 63. So, here is where I'm going to be putting the factors that I'm going to multiply by 63 to get as close as I can to 472. So again, this is similar to the multiplication cluster strategy in the case that students are using what they know about multiplication and using factor pairs that they can solve quickly mentally to get to the answer a little bit quicker. So um, most kids, again, they'll know that they like multiples of 10. They know 63 times 10 is 630. That is way too big. So maybe they use the other benchmark that's easy to solve if you know your 10s. Half of 10 is 5. So half of this answer is 315. And that's where they might start. So let me just get rid of this. That's just what they're doing kind of mentally here. So if I put 5 here, this is saying, okay, 63 times 5 is 315. And I like to draw the line straight across to remind myself that this is this is the answer I'm building, 563 so far. And I'm just going to subtract and see, okay, how much do I have left? Bigger bottom, better borrow. So I'm going to take 110, that equals uh, 10 ones. Add that to the two ones I've already got. That's 12 ones. 12 minus 5 is 7. 6 minus 1 is 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. Now, um, Besides fives and tens, twos are great too, just doubling. So I know it's going to be more than 163. Two 63s doubled, 63 doubles, 126. I see how much is left. 31. And at this point, we remind the kids like, you know what, sometimes it's, it's best to turn this into a situation. Say, okay, make a story problem. I have 472 marbles. I'm dividing those by 63 friends or whatever the case may be. How many marbles do they each get? Well, 31 marbles definitely wouldn't make sense because some kids confuse the leftovers with their actual answer. We don't want to do that. These are the answers because, okay, this is like saying, okay, I gave each kid, each of those friends, five marbles. That's a total of 315 marbles. And then that left me with 157 marbles left. So I could give each kid, each of those 63 kids, two more marbles. That's 126 marbles. I've got 31 left can't divide those up anymore, 31 marbles by 63 kids. So my answer is, how many marbles do they each get? Seven, remainder, 31. Okay, and that is the big seven. And again, it's using what we know about multiplication to solve a division problem.